How's it going everyone? My name is Cornship, and welcome back to Vision Quest. We're on chapter 29, or I think it's 4-3, Driven by Fear. And I'm gonna show you my team. It's basically everybody I like to bring normally, except Marlin sitting out, and that's only because he's done with the supports. Like, he's fully finished, and so I want to bring other people who aren't finished. And then, I guess Timonen is gonna be a regular member. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't dislike Timonen, but it's just, you know, I had an established team. But I'm really pulled to him because he has a leadership star. Which, like, they aren't that important. I mean, they give plus five hit and plus three void to all ally units per star, so it's helpful. I don't know if, like, one is super necessary, but it's still, you know, it pulls me to bringing him. And then I know I could just leave Bosco out because they're the same class, so why should I need two? But I don't really want to leave Bosco out until I have to. And then we have to take Sigrid. I already showed her off at the end of the last episode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because she gets the double experience, and her rates are pretty awesome. And I also gave her a Kaya. I know some of you might be like, why would you not do that with a normal or a regular unit of the team? Because I don't know if I'm going to keep Sigrid or not. But someone in the comments vouched for her. They said she's really awesome, especially once she starts doubling. And... As we see with the Paragon, she's going to get experience very quickly, especially if she can pull off kills. So I figured the Kaya was kind of worth it, because she's a level 5 monk, she literally has 35 possible levels to gain stats. I don't know if that'll happen, obviously, but... Yeah, just, yeah, so I gave her the Kaya, and then we also had a Dragon Shield and a Talisman. And I give those to Storch. I know that's probably going to sound weird coming from me, because I've been Mr. I don't want to give Storch stat boosters because he's already powerful enough, he doesn't really need them. But just, his defense and res are like, decent, but nothing super amazing. So if I can boost both of his defensive stats, I, then I will have like, no fear throwing him into whatever with a hand axe. Like people have been recommending, that I just throw him in with a hand axe on the iron rune and he's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I mean there were people who definitely could have used some, like Helga and Larissa could obviously use some resistance, since that seems to be their downfall. And, I mean, really anyone could use more defense, like, let's be real, but... Yeah, I've rambled on enough, I think it is time to go. So we have to defeat the boss this chapter, it's a dark chapter. I sat Marlin out and he's still talking. Brother, we gotta protect the horses. Those poor little old horses, just nibbling on grass. Having simple old thoughts, it ain't fair. We can't let him die, Storch. We'll do what we can to try and save them all. If all the horses were to die, we'd be in trouble. We'd move awfully slow awfully slowly around these windy mountains and all. Or windy? I don't know. Let's go, brother. Sedgar ain't gonna watch his kind die, and I won't either. Well, now I feel like a fool for leaving Marlin out. Horvath's distraction allowed us to approach without issue. We mustn't squander this opportunity to destroy them. Are Lord Titus and Lord Seostrom truly traitors? This plan is certainly cowardly. Attacking and killing horses? It is the tactic of an ancient, primitive, savage... Oh, of ancient, primitive, savage beasts. A cowardly move to strike from the darkness. But do I have much choice? Huh. There is no other way. Men, charge the enemy while they are disoriented. And target their horses. Try to be humane about it and put them to sleep first. These beasts, even if they are those of the enemy, are innocent victims in all this. Regardless, it must be done. If they are unable to transport supplies to their front lines, or if even fewer soldiers have horses of their own, I can only hope it'll help ensure victory. Should any of them dare to approach me, I will not hesitate to meet them in battle. My brave axe will strike them from the shadows. Using the fog as cover, these roguish tactics are my only chance. If all of the horses die, I'll get a game over. Yeah, and I already took a little gander around the map by moving Esfer around so I could see more. And immediately, the horses are in danger. Because there's this guy. I guess maybe he's going to put them to sleep first before attacking? I don't know if you can make AI that advanced in these ROM hacks. I have no idea. But... Either way, the horses are already in danger, and then I guess the boss is up there with a Brave Axe. I don't know if he's on a horse or not, so approaching that is going to be a little scary. Other than that, these two have some orbs, or gems, sorry. And then, uh, from what I could see, no one else really had anything to steal except torches. There were people with torches, but I'm not worried about that. And other than that, yeah, I really don't have any plans other than, I guess, just hopefully not dying. We'll check out the supports here. Which don't look very promising. I don't think Nazar and Onisim can do anymore. Yeah, because I don't want them going to A. 
and is that really just it? Timonin and Sigrid, I'm cool with. Especially if I'm bringing them both along. Alright, well, that's kind of boring, but I've got what I want to do. <laughs> this guy has a sword, so let's immediately throw Timonin over there. And hopefully he doesn't take the whopping 23 damage, half of his health, but here we go. Good dodge. You know, I almost made an oopsie, I almost forgot to turn on Sacred's animations. Because she's about to be fighting. I hope that's okay. Hope she's not gonna die. We'll find out. Let's see if she can even kill this guy. <laughs> the answer is no, she can't. So that kind of sucks. But I guess I can let her get experience. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and have their talk and then have their support and we'll see what's going on. Lady Sigrid, I'm sorry. I failed to protect Lord Sostrom. And now he's gone. I've failed in my duty as a knight. <laughs> Sir Timonin, do not, do not worry at all. There was nothing that could be done. That vile man would have killed any of us. I need you to be strong. Strong for, Lo strong for Lomsk, strong for me. Lady Sigrid, yes, I apologize. I let my emotions get the best of me. Please excuse my outburst. My father is no longer with us. Sir Timonin, the feeling I have saying that sentence is unlike any other. I never felt I would need to. I don't know if it is the shock, but I mustn't grieve now. We have to fight. We will grieve later. Lady Sigrid, I'm most impressed with your maturity. I will ensure his bur uh, burial ceremony is the finest in the land. Thank you, Sir Timonin. I'm grateful for your service. And then they will go ahead and support. <laughs> Lady Sigrid, are you well? Yes, Sir Timonin. All is well, you know, except for my dad dying. Good. Please do not stray far, milady. You always dote on me, Sir Timonin. It isn't necessary. While my father's death has hurt me beyond repair, I am not so weak. Oh, okay. Well, at least she acknowledged it. I know, Lady Sigrid. It is your strength and resolve that pushed me to serve you. Even in death, Lord Sostrom would not forgive me if you were harmed. Sir Timonin? Does that help you at all with killing this dude? Doesn't look like it. Come on, join the club, Sigrid. Just immediately. Real fast. Dang it. It's a lot of experience for not even killing, though. I could also dance her. And that would probably help a bit. I also gave Esfer uh, a magic sword so she can attack at a range, since that'll probably help her. I know that's kind of Gunner's thing, but... Yeah, I went ahead and did that. Okay, I'm gonna have, I guess, Esfer come over here and kill a man. That's what she does best. I didn't really plan out my turn too much. I did at least plan out the locations of my units, for the most part. But I didn't really plan all my attacks and how I wanted to approach this. Like, we're gonna have to be kind of fast, because those horses are in danger. I don't really know what I want to do with Wally. I'm in favor of getting her more experience, so... I'm gonna go ahead and... Dance for Sigrid and let her get a kill, which will probably level her up. Oh, we have to use our preferred weapon. Darn. Oh, okay, a little late there, Sigrid, but thank you for joining the club. That was pretty quick, honestly. Alright. Sigrid's first level. Honestly, magic and speed are what I would like to see a lot, and she got, like, everything but that. So I guess I can't be too mad, because that was still a lot of stat increases, but... A little sad there wasn't more. This guy just has an axe, right? Yeah. Alright, then I guess we'll use a sword. I know this Dark Mage was probably here for Sigrid, but I don't care. It almost leveled up Storage. Oh, Sigrid and... or not Sigrid, Storage and uh, Wally can talk, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to slap Wally... Uh, I could slap Onis in there. Yeah, why not? 
and then Wally can go over here and hopefully kill this guy. I mean, Storch had it covered, honestly, but I want to try to kill as much as I can, as usual. It's my plan. It hasn't failed me yet, even though it really has because I've already lost before, but I'm going to say it hasn't failed me yet to feel better about myself. And I know moving S for up is going to limit my visibility, but I have to get her out of that little area. Is it supposed to be like a building? Oh, that actually didn't limit my visibility thanks to the torch. Yeah, this guy's Mr. Dark Mage Killer. Good thing I don't have a Dark Mage user. Unless, like, Titus counts. But Titus is down here. I'm pretty sure there are people in here, so it kind of sucks that I can't see them already. Because I'm going to have to, like, waste someone's turn to go over there. Or I guess I don't have to waste someone's turn, because, like... Oh, Shree can't kill if I do this, but... I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, and Shree gets the crit when I needed him to. That doesn't happen very often. I have Dewey over here with a torch. I don't really want to throw a torch right here, but at the same time it might be necessary. Also, I'm pretty sure that sniper has a longbow, so I don't want anyone at the top of this area. Yeah, so one of these guys has a torch I could steal, except Esther's not over here and I don't want to steal things anyway. And since Lara can't do anything for me other than this, I'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, a level for Lara. Hey, magic and speed, and I mean other things too. Awesome. This guy, what does he have out right now? A sword. So... Uh, I don't really want to put you close to that mage, but you have a lance, so... Oh, you can't even kill. And we'll potentially take... I guess 10 damage isn't really that bad, but I mean... Maybe I'll start with this instead. And Bosco's awesome. He really doesn't want me to take him out of the team. Oh, hey! He's a master of lances now. Good job. So, Bosco can at least counterattack, or I can throw Gunner in, and he can counterattack with a wind sword as well. And I could just shove Bosco out of the way. Eh. To a heavy spear or a sword. Oh man, I feel like I'm wasting a turn, as usual. But I don't want to put you in heavy spear range. Let me double check. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to come here, we're just gonna have to crowd up in this little spot. Bottom side isn't moving very quickly. I hope the horses will be okay. I don't know why I didn't think about the fact you'd be at disadvantage here, but if you double, then there we go. Hopefully he'll be fine. He's got 26 HP. That other axe is probably going to come. Yeah. And it missed. I mean, at least Timonen's very powerful. So, like, it's not really, like, a negative thing to be bringing him along. Oh, you have range? No, I forgot to show you guys the horses too, so hopefully that one doesn't die. Oh, why did I not see this coming either? Man, I'm really bad at uh, <laughs> predicting what AI does. Oh, hey, good job, Shree. All right, I feel like it's been a while since you leveled up, but I also have a bad memory, so. Okay, more strength is cool. Can hit even harder. Oh, snap, don't get doubled. I don't know why I didn't think about the fact that they could move in closer. God, I've made a lot of mistakes in just the first turn. 
Hopefully it's not any mistakes that have anyone dying, but I made some mistakes. Okay, he did use a sleep. So what the heck, that swords person didn't get the memo. They're attacking a horse that can't defend itself. Or wait, that isn't asleep, I mean. Obviously they can't defend themselves. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys the horses, because they all have names and descriptions, and it's gonna be like probably a waste of time to some of you, but this is violent. Whoops, has a rough temper, but likes eating cabbages. This one's Clive, a bit passive and mellow, not the fastest steed. And I'm sure these are all references to characters like Clive, I'm assuming is uh, from Fire Emblem Echoes. And Titania is the redhead from Ike's game, Season Mare who has fought in many battles. But since I haven't played all the Fire Emblem games, like I don't recognize Violand. I do recognize Isadora, a cheerful filly does well with unseasoned riders, because she's from FE7. Cecil, not familiar with. Rugged filly that isn't social, likes to eat apples. And Trek I'm also not familiar with. A young colt with few interests other than carrots. But there's our horses. Violin's gonna die. I guess Trek's probably about to die. Because there's no way I'm getting there yet. I'm gonna let Shri go ahead and do this. So I think he dodged, but I'm also not that worried about it because Dewey is here to heal him. Although I'd also like Dewey to use a torch, but you know, it can't have it all. And I don't know if there are any other nearby people with a range of three to attack, like that other archer, I don't know what he had. So... I'm gonna play it safe and I guess have Lara come heal. I don't know why I kept the mend on her. I should really just give her a normal heal, but oh well. And then this guy has the heavy lance out. So Nazar can hopefully not take care of that for me. Real cool. <laughs> I think if I can finish supports, I might leave Nazar out with all these new people I'm wanting to bring on because Nazar just hasn't been that great. I don't like saying that, but I mean, he hasn't. I wish I had two dancers so I could have one over here. What does this guy have? An axe? Boring. Okay, it wasn't just Nazar that couldn't double. This guy is just a fast dude, I guess. But either way, I don't think Nazar's speed is that great either. Oh, nice! I was not expecting that, but I'm also not complaining. This might be another episode where we don't finish the chapter. Maybe that's just going to be how it is for the rest of this game, since we're, like, close to the end. I don't know if I'm comfortable sending Bosco in ahead of everyone. Oh, hello there. A lance and an axe. And then Gunner, I'm going to feel really stupid sitting over here alone, but also... We'll do it slowly. I'll put him in this forest. I know there's a mage, like, right here. And as for this side... This dude has an axe, so Timonin doesn't have much going for him against that guy. Also, I don't really want to send Esra over here, because that's really going to limit my visibility. And I want those two to talk, but also... I want to weaken this guy for... Sigrid. That's her name. Had to think about it for a bit. Wow, she doesn't do too bad with her shine. But I guess we're gonna keep using this to get her experience up there. Don't miss an 84, please. Thank you. That's gotta be another level. Alright. Magic and speed this time. Thank you. Now what? <laughs> and 
Nobody has a range of three to like bait that guy. And I don't think your defense is that great. But it's also a longbow. I don't think those are that powerful, so... Oh, wait. You have... No, you don't have a longbow. Just kidding. Well, Timonen's gonna go here. To bait the archer, sniper, whatever. And then this could be a waste, but I want... Wally and Storch to have this conversation. Also, Michael's almost done leveling. And he cannot promote. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Also, I forgot to mention, I guess let's go through this chat first. Storch? Hmm? What is it, Chief? What you did back there, it was reckless. I understand how you must feel, but please remember this. Courage without tactful restraint is foolhardiness. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Do not feel guilty for Lord Sostrom's ultimate untimely passing. Sostrom certainly would not have let Horvath take his daughter. His fate may have been the same. That doesn't make me feel all much better, Chief. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Be safe out here, Storch. Yes, yeah, Storch, you dumb idiot. I am, like, with Storch on what he did, though. Like... Horvath rushed into just a full army and expected nothing to happen. Like, I don't know why more people didn't try to attack like Storch did, to be honest. Like, Storch, I'm with you on this one, my dude. Alright, there's a guy that I really don't want Esfer dealing with. <laughs> so, Esfer protection squad time. Also, I didn't realize her iron sword was almost broken. Good thing she sticks with Storch, so... Shouldn't be too much of an issue. That person might attack us instead of the horses, and I'm actually okay with that. Oh, this is perfect. No crit, but hey, leaves it open for someone else, perhaps. Okay, the iron sword's probably gonna break. I mean, if she doubles, yes, it's broken. Oh, she didn't double. Huh. Good dodge. I feel like this is a waste of javelin durability, but nothing I can do about that. Okay, that's one thing I was kind of worried about. Oh, but the wind sword is perfect! Bye-bye. That guy was really weak. Although he still got a decent amount of experience for it. He didn't have a lot of HP. That's pretty weak, isn't it? Oh, this guy's a lance. But the wind sword is still effective. And hopefully you double... Darn it. Okay, well now he needs healing. I wasn't really ready for that one, but I'm okay with it, because Storch can take care of himself. Oh man, I'm apparently pretty slow now. <laughs> or these enemies are fast. Okay, more defense is cool. I would have liked some more speed, but... No, goodbye, Violent. I'm sorry that person does not know how to listen to instructions. Oh wow, you dodged a 70. Alright, Shree. Not a double. Darn. Oh, maybe that's why it wasn't a double. <laughs> oh, I wasn't really ready for that one. Oh, please dodge, please. Dang it. I don't know if I'm okay with that. If there's another mage up there, you're open to being hit. That's not great. Okay, I did want that. Almost a level. Okay, I was expecting that, too. And if you double, you will kill, but I don't know if you're gonna double. Nope. But you did get more speed. Are you just gonna put them all to sleep before you start nose for uh, toing or whatever? Okay, there are apparently reinforcements spawning. That's not cool. Oh, she healed because she's near Michael. I was like, huh? But I've got it now. I understand. Alright, well, Shree's gonna stay here yet again. 
so we can get rid of this guy. Dewey is definitely going to have to heal someone, as well as Lara, probably. Although she can't heal Gunner from where she is now. You know what I'll do? Hopefully not missing 89 is what I'll do. And that way... They're both the same no matter what. That way you can go ahead and heal Gunner. Yum yum. I think I'm just gonna heal Bosco with Titus here. Even though I'd much rather have Titus attack. People need healing. <laughs> Which means Dewey can come heal Nazar, even though she's still not throwing out any torches for me, which is was my plan. Thirty six percent chance, hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Cool. I don't think Helga can kill him, though. Nope. This guy's a menace! Oh, well, I'd rather have her get the more damage hit, you know? Dang. Did not dodge a 39. A little sad about that one. Oh, hi there. Uh, I don't really want to leave. Okay, well, he has two chances to do this. Hopefully he can manage it. All right, cool. I didn't want to leave him with an X Reaver on. That's what I was going to say before I just constantly interrupt myself by not talking. Oh, that's... Not the person I wanted. <laughs> Alright, she cannot kill, which means you're probably gonna kill just kidding. Well, unless you crit, then you will kill. And you crit. Timonin, we're trying to get Sigrid experience. I don't need you getting off kills. Especially if you're gonna level up like that. That was pretty yuck. Okay, this dude has a gem, but if I throw Esfer there, she's in danger. <laughs> of a lot of things. This guy has less health. Let's go ahead and send Esfer. This could be a very horrible she can't steal because he's too fast. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Alright, just kidding. I don't have to worry about it. Which is awesome. Can she kill anyone? She sure can't. Unless maybe the mother's care? No. But I'll do it anyway. She didn't get a crit like I was, you know, hun wanting. Hunting? <laughs> Still enough for her to level up though. Two more levels until she can start, like, stealing weapons and stuff, I guess? Is how that works? I'll go for the 95. I don't trust Wally to do anything for me. Hey, get everything. Times 1000. That was not even close. You're a disappointment. You're never gonna be able to lead your tribe when you do that stuff. So she's obviously not going to double him. Yeah, she gets doubled, but you know what? Before that, let's... Oh shoot. Let's bring Storch here so we can do this. 
But that'll put him more in range of Larissa to boost her stuff up, I believe. I don't think he was close enough before, yeah, so that should help, I hope. Makes it so she can't take any damage. So I approve. You know what, I think I'll do this, though. Just to be more safe. Because, you know, he might switch to the Ice Sword and go after whoever he wants. No, he doesn't have an Ice Sword. This is the one with the Ice Sword. What am I thinking? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um... Hopefully this isn't putting Michael in danger too much. Uh, Timonen's gonna take a lot of damage if I do this. There's also a 3% chance he'd die. But... I want to do it. This was a mistake. Why did I do this? Why did I not think about how much damage that was? 20 damage is a lot. Timon and I'm sorry. Don't die. Please. Actually, I think I'm freaking out for no reason, because... I think you have Physic? Or you can also just reach, because I gave you boots a long time ago? Actually, do I want to put you in the range, though? I don't know if I do. I think I'd rather just use a Physic. Although, I think I want you to stand in front of Michael, just in case there's something coming at us. Okay, Timonin is hopefully fine. I'm sure he's in range of a lot of people now, since I just rushed him in. Pretty far. And then Sigurd will chill here, and was that my turn? Alright. I don't know if you're gonna double with a javelin, but we will find out. She did. I don't... <laughs> she did and she does, is what I was trying to say. Have you guys noticed I'm just not good at speaking? And yet, I still enjoy making videos. Alright, Helga should kill him. Because she don't miss. Even at disadvantage. Pretty cool. I don't know if you'll double, and even if you do, it's not going to kill. But hopefully Sigrid can take him down? Ow. Will Storch hit the tw- oh. Okay. Storch is like, that's what I think of your killing edge, dude. Wow. Alright, there was someone in range. And he's a dodging maniac, and he's killing. Cool. Go Timonin, you murder people. It's awesome. Oh, hello there. Alright, that should hopefully be a kill for Sigrid. Oh, she doesn't have the Ice Sword on anymore. Good dodge though. Oh, I'm sorry, Timonin. I mean, I kind of expected this, like I said, but now you're in danger. <laughs> and you just left yourself open to any other mages or ranged units that can reach through the house. Don't do it. I'm gonna hope I'm in the clear, since it went over to a new area. No. Thief, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we're in the clear. What are you doing, mister? Mr. Body Ring that would be great for Esfer. <laughs> oh, Esfer can't reach this guy to steal. Dang it. Okay, so. Obvious choice. Whoops, is not to do that. Is heal Timonin. To nearly full health. Then let her hopefully get some kills here, yes. Just because she's so far behind, that should probably be a level, yeah.
awesome. We will make you a beast. Just you wait. Okay. Oh, wow. Alright, even without a crit. As long as she doesn't miss a 90, this is another kill. Awesome. That's gotta be a level as well. Should have given her an Earth Seal. <laughs> I have plenty. Oh, okay, that's disappointing a little bit, but what can you do? Alright, so... That's done. I really hate wasting a... No, I can't. I think I might just have to say goodbye to this gem. It doesn't give you that much anyway. A thousand? Not worried about it. But I also don't have to kill him yet. I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, I don't really like sending Wally in. Because, oh, well, this is fine. I wish I could heal Storch up, but there are no heals with him right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Okay, I'm a little worried about this choice, but I'm gonna slap her there. Hopefully Storch can get this kill? 74 is not the best looking thing, but what about this? 85? Looks a little better. Let's do it. Okay, well, nothing is coming from this side to attack Sigrid, potentially, so I'll move Timon in here, and we will see. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I guess that would have been okay to attack Sigrid. I mean, maybe? They have a maxed out magic stat. Perez is pretty good. I don't know what would have happened, but either way, it's uh, Timonin's problem to deal with. Or maybe even Larissa's. No, okay. Anyway, I don't know if I want to move Gunner into the unknown over there. I'm gonna go ahead and torch this bottom left area. That sounds violent. Oh, there's nothing! Unless reinforcements come. And here's an armory, so I could check that out and see what's in store. I might just do that with Shree, since, like, no one else is here. But also, Shree could probably help out pretty quick over there. Whereas it's gonna take Gunner a long time to get anywhere, so you know what? Gunner's gonna go that way. And Lara can start going this way, even though she's also gonna have a hard time catching up. Shree can go that way. Alright. Nazar. Can kill. Awesome. This is the part that sucks, is figuring out how to move forward when I can't see. Let's see if he bumps into anybody if I do this. Nope. Alright, well, that gets me a kill. And we'll also reveal anything around Titus. Alright. Oh, and here's a vendor. Okay. Well, Helga doesn't have to worry about archers, so I'm comfortable sending her here. I guess let's put the hatchet on her just in case. Unless there's someone just right in that corner. That's all fine and dandy. Oh, who can Esper get attacked by? Oh, 
I'll protect Esper on one side so she can't get attacked twice. I gotta save the horses. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. I mean, they won't all die, but I don't want any more than the one to die. The one that really didn't have a chance. Unless I just, like, really swooped Helga in. And there was a unit hiding in the corner. Oh, and you missed an 88. That's a bummer. Titus, wow, missed another 88, or whatever Helga missed too. Something in the 80s. That's a little uh, disappointing. Good thing he can't miss 100. Although with my luck, maybe I could somehow. It's like actually a 99 point something and they rounded it up and then I still miss. Alright, Timon, and I hope you actually don't kill, as weird as that sounds, because that's gonna be a good kill for... oh. <laughs> Timon, in, what did I tell you? We need Sigurd to get kills, you don't need to kill everything. Oh, the thieves do attack, that's rude. Well, at least that guy's gonna run out of sleep, and then I won't have to worry about getting slept. Okay, this video might run long, but I feel like I'm already getting, like, close enough to the end where I don't really want to stop the episode because... I just don't want to. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Fighting in the fog, is it? I pity you. You must have fought hard to get here. Take this. It's quite useful. <gasps> it's what I've been waiting for! I don't even remember what I want to repair anymore because I kind of already mentally, like, dismissed it as not gonna acquire. Alright. I already bought a decent amount of silver weapons. I didn't buy blades, but I don't know if I really want that. Are you guys gonna hate me if I don't buy anything here? Because I'm thinking I'm not gonna buy anything here. Except for a hand axe. Or two. And I don't really think I need to throw a torch anywhere else. I guess just because you're here, might as well heal. Why not? Oh, hey. Didn't know she was so close. <laughs> I gotta say, my Dewey is not great. I don't really know if Sigurd's gonna do anything else in this level, but... I will keep her moving forward. And even though I don't... I gotta stop worrying about durability. We're so close to the end. I'm such a hoarder in this game. I really just don't like using items. Because I fear that they will break, even though literally... I get plenty of items anyway where I don't need to worry about things breaking. Okay, well, Esfer is close enough to steal, so yay for us. We do get a thousand gold. Oh, you know what a torch staff would be good for? The boss, because if we get close enough, he's going to attack, supposedly, and that sucks. All right, well, here comes Mr. Shree with this attack. This guy has, yeah, a sword. I'm not really surprised. This guy has an axe. I don't think I gave Nazar... Oh, yes, I did. Still not even good enough to kill? Oh, well. All right, I'm sorry I doubted you, Nazar. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> okay, that's done. I want to visit this house, but I think I'm going to need Titus and Helga attacking this guy to destroy him. Oh, perfect. 
just barely. Solid 30 experience. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily put the hand axe in. Get the sky piercer. Trade it to this dude. And I guess you don't need the killer bow, like, it has two durability left. And then go ahead and get the hand axe back. Whoops. And... Oh, I guess I can still attack this guy. I wasn't really planning on that, but... I got what I needed from him. The jam. And I don't expect him to be able to kill, because he's definitely not going to double, but... <gasps> if he hits a 71! Awesome, Wally! I know I'm, like, horrible to you, but... If you keep doing stuff like that for me, I'll be happy. Goodbye, Cecil. I'm very sorry. Oh no! Stop! Isadora, no! Alright, well... The Dark Mage has no more sleeps, so that's nice. No more reinforcements and Mr. Boss Man didn't move. I'm gonna go ahead and dance Dewey because I really want to get a Torch Staff over there. Right here is fine, I think, I hope. Alright, so, here's Darien. I know he has a brave axe. Lord of Nabokov, something of a coward. I mean, yeah, he's using the cowardly tactics, but he seemed, like, decent enough, honestly. He's like, I don't really want to do this to the horses, but we kind of have to. Anyway, his uh, defense and res are decent, actually, and he's got the brave axe and two silver weapons. So... That'll be fun. Now I gotta figure out what to do here. Shri... Oh, Shri can reach. Unfortunately, even with a crit, he's not gonna kill. Although what I could do is just have a little... have a little trade-off here. Still can't kill unless he crits. Let's see what happens. Oh well. Can't say I didn't try, you know? And then I'll just be like, hey, uh, give me that back, please. And uh, as long as I don't miss a 90, I'm getting rid of this one. Okay, the horses should be fine. I'm gonna miss or lose, what, three out of six, I think there was? Which is a bummer, but... Then I doubt you can kill this guy. Oh, I lied. But if I put you there, are you in range of the boss? Yes, you are. And that's a problem. Ah, crap. I might have to risk Helga. I mean, I don't know if he'd use the Brave Axe on her while she has an axe. He'd probably switch to his sword, and then that's gonna hurt, yes, but... She won't get attacked twice. Although, if he hits this 44, I won't even kill him. So that's stinky. I know there's, like, no point in me moving these people, because they're not gonna be able to do anything for me. I say, I guess let's go ahead and check what's in here. Eh. Some more restores could always be nice, but I've actually got a decent amount anyway. Could I get storage over there? I kind of doubt it, but I'm going to shove him a bunch anyway. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, nope. Huh. Do I risk this? Well, putting storage I don't think is that big of a risk or anything. It's just the Helga thing that's a problem. Because if this guy hits her with the 44, he's not going to die, and then that's 29 damage to Helga anyway, and then Boss Man can also hit her, and this guy can just hit her again. Let's try it. Please dodge a 44. Alright, awesome. So now it's just the boss will be coming to either Storch or Helga. She got more speed, that's cool. I guess Nazar can go ahead and visit this place. Lord Darien has always been good to the citizens of Nabokov. He gets a bit of a poor reputation, but I don't think it's really all that fair. Being a leader of a larger group of people, I mean, someone's going to disagree with you. Now, you may not agree that this staff is particularly useful, but I mean, that's in your right to think so. You could just be grateful. I'm grateful we have Lord Darien, even if he isn't the best. Sometimes that's okay too, he's really trying. I'm not sure whether to be like, okay, bootlicker, or just agree with you. <laughs> Alright, well, oh, Esper hasn't moved, which... Don't want to put her in harm's way. I'm sorry, horse. Isadora, one I actually knew. Boss went after her. You will leave this place at once. Nabokov will not fall to traitors of the Empire. Yeah, whatever. Ow. 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 Hey, the extra speed helped. You got doubled. Oh, there are reinforcements? Alright, well, I think I can end this... this turn, so... Yippee. I mean, I hope I can, because otherwise horses are still in danger. Because these guys can probably reach them, yeah. Oh boy, okay. So I guess I can have Wally do an attack. Oh, that's pretty good. This is all your fault, Savage. You raided our lands, killed our women, and it will stop now. Well, that's one way to introduce yourself. Let's hope this meeting is our last. <laughs> I like how Wally's just like, I really don't care about the things you just said. And I'm not going to waste my breath trying to correct you. It's a waste of time. And I'm inclined to agree with you. I wonder if he has special dialogue with Isadora. I want to try that. No, wait, I wanted to use a physic. Does she not have one, or am I just not close enough? Or did I just never give her one? I think I took it off, actually. I was gonna try to heal Helga, but I forgot. To put in a torch in Dewey's inventory, I got rid of a... Physic. Okay, the whole reason I did that is because... I just, I want to see an Isadora attack on the boss. I don't know if this will even be enough to reach. Although we can also shove her, so... It is enough, I just have to move Storch, which means... Storch can't get the kill for me. <laughs> because I need to move! Sorry, Storch. I'm sure he had special dialogue too, but oh well. Alright, well she unfortunately can't kill, but I mean, unless... No, even with a crit, she'd have to get two crits. Can I, like, soften him up with anyone else first? Or would I just kill? That'd be a kill. Darn. What about more hatchet? Well, I risk her getting a crit and killing, but... Here we go. Okay, he won't die even if she crits. All this to maybe give Isadora the kill. That's not Isadora, what am I saying? Sigrid. Isadora's the horse that just died. Okay, well... There's no way I'm gonna be able to weaken him with anyone else, so let's just see what happens. What? Lady Sigrid, you live? Lord Darien, you will seize this instant. It must be my mind playing tricks on me. 
Ha, 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 ha. Oh, he's going nuts now. My emperor duped me? This I cannot believe. You are false. How dare you desecrate Lady Sigrid's name? Oh, okay. Lord Darien, you seem unwell. Please, don't make me do this to you. I wish you would get a crit and kill him. Sigrid, do it, do it, do it right now! Oh. Oh well, that should still be enough to level, honestly. Okay, I lied. But it's fine. Whatever. Titus, finish this fool. Lord Darien, why do you align yourself to the Empire? I should ask you why you cho choose to disobey him. Do you not fear what ill fate will befall you? Betrayal invites death. Unlike you, Lord Darien, I am not driven by fear. I will stand up for what is just and bring forth the truth. What is just? You are in no position to tell me about just. You're a pompous fool, Lord Titus. Self-serving and greedy, I see right through you. You. Enough. This ends now. I mean, you're not wrong, it just ended. No, Nabokov, my state. Slipping through my fingers. Damn you, Lord Titus. Was that a special death quote, or would he always say damn you, Lord Titus, even if Titus wasn't the one that killed him? I'm not sure. But hey, I saved three horses, at least. At least, you could see the fear in his eyes. He did not wish to fight us here. Then why did he choose to? I just don't get it. He's the one who tried to get us in the night. Some men will be loyal out of concern for their safety. If the rumors about Lord Darien are true, he must have had many secrets. Secrets that he did not want to come to light. Heck, if you just mind your own business and do what you need, ain't gonna have any issues. No blackmail or nothing like that. Seems like he sowed the seeds of his own undoing then. Some men, Storch, do not stay true to themselves. They traverse through life on the path of least resistance, even if it means straying from their core beliefs, their character. To pursue a life of ease versus standing up for what you believe in. For what's important to you. Heck, Chief, I'm with you on that one. This Lord Darien sure seemed like he had a lot to manage. Indeed. Lord Titus, we should try to get some more sleep before tomorrow. Alright, thank you. Tomorrow we march to the Temple of the Moonwalker. You mean that place where Lady Sigrid was held up? The very same. I suspect Horvath will be there. We must avenge Lord Sostrom. Now hold up just a minute. When we agreed to join up, you said you wanted to talk to the Emperor, sort this out. Now you're actively seeking prey, and big game at that? Lord Titus, he's a powerful man. Is it wise to confront him directly? The Chief's got a good point. Do we need to fight him just yet? Even if the Emperor's made it clear he ain't gonna speak with us, I don't see how going after Horvath is gonna help us out right now. My suspicion is that Horvath is largely responsible for this. If he is eliminated, perhaps the Emperor will see reason. He may seize the fighting. And if he doesn't? Then we keep fighting. Based on the way the Empire has responded, I suspect we won't have much choice, unfortunately. Most unfortunate we must talk with our blades, rather than with our hearts. How quickly plans change. I see, is this temple nearby? But a few days ride away. Let us make preparations. Storch, a moment if you are able. Huh? What is it, Chief? You've continued to prove yourself a valuable ally. When we forged this alliance, I did so uneasily. Truth be told, you are one of the few men here I trust. With this, I want to offer you something special to me. The Cornhusker! See this blade? This blade? It has a green hilt and the blade is yellow. Not like anything I've seen. Pretty weird stuff here, Chief. What is the deal with the sword? It was my father's sword. Well, I never took to the blade and preferred axes and bows, this sword has been with my family for many years. I want you to take it to battle. A symbol of our friendship. Chief, that's mighty nice of you to consider me. I'll be sure to wield it well. Thank you, Storch. I pray that we may continue walking this path together. Woo! I feel like if you were going to give a sword to someone, Wally, you'd do Kusuma, but... What do I know? Grant the charm skill. Alright, um, I guess... I guess I'll put your preferred blade away. <laughs> Another sleepless night. At least the reflection of the moonlight on the river is still... Or is still. It's pleasant. And it seems the tides are turning in my favor. But I'm unsure how long I can feign ignorance. Mm -hmm. Someone approaches? Lord Titus. Ah, Helga, ever the dutiful one. Are you currently on watch? No, my shift just ended. The chief sent a few of his men to take over. What are you doing up? Nothing out of the ordinary, I'm afraid. You know I've had my issues with insomnia. This is just another one of those nights. I see. Lord Titus, I need to speak with you about something. Yes, Helga? You may speak freely with me. What did you see when you were in the desert? What do you mean? 
Don't lie to me, Lord Titus. Storch told me about your night in the desert, back in Mahala. He said you ate some sort of strange cactus. What did you see? Yes, I did eat the rare cactus that night. You know, they didn't even offer any sort of sauce for it. The flavor was rather mundane, almost earthy. My tongue was a little numbed by it, and... Don't be cute with me. You can't talk me in circles like the rest. What did you see? I... I saw nothing. Nothing? You saw nothing? It made me a tad giggly, and the breeze felt nice on my face. I did not see anything. Or Titus. I've stuck by you from the very beginning. After your father passed, it was I who investigated. It was I who fought alongside you. It was I who helped in your quest to oust your uncle from power. It was I who sat through every war council, every meeting, every battle. If you really saw nothing, then there's nothing more. But if you were lying to me... Helga, you are my most valued and trusted companion. That has not been the case for a long time now. And you know it, don't lie to me. I... I... Helga, I'm... Look, if you continue to trust no one, you will end up like Darien. Alone. Scared. A lord receives his power from the people. You've said that. If you cannot trust me, who do you have? Helga... Oh boy, side quest! <laughs> I guess we're not done yet! I mean, we're prolonging the ending even longer. 4-3-X, I will remember that. Does this have to do with Helga? No, that's Onderdonk, right? Hmm? What is that scent? I know it. It is strangely familiar, yet still different. Could it be the scent of curry? Oh god. I must find out. Hmm? Where is he going? We're near Osterclans. Hey, where are you off to? I am investigating a scent. A scent? Do you smell an enemy ambush? I cannot smell anything that suggests that. It is curry. There must be people on the over on this side of the mountain. Curry is not from Nevin, which is why I am concerned. Curry? That's not entirely true. It is also a popular dish in Osterk, my people's cuisine. However, ours is different because of the ingredients. More than one kind. This brings me joy. I wonder. We are near one of the Osterk towns. While we predominantly reside in the caves, we do make use of some of the surrounding space. That is, as long as we feel it is safe from others. I wonder, why are they out now? We should investigate. We must first inform Lord Titus. You go do that, I will fly ahead. Onderdonk! And so goes a man on a quest for curry. I shall speak with Lord Titus. I doubt the Osterk here are strongly aligned to Festin. We may be able to camp and restock here. The scent grows stronger, just over this mountain. Ah, I see it. It is a village. This must be where the people make curry. Hmm? But those men, they are armored. And there are two groups of them. I am concerned. This may not be a good thing. I must return back and inform everyone of this. How does it look out there? Chief, it's bad. This was an ambush in broad daylight. This group flies no banner. I suspect they're mercenaries. Mercenaries? Attack us? How do they even find out about our settlement? Well, I can explain. Don't waste time, tell me now. It's your wife, Chief. She made a huge pot of curry for the men. The scent was quite strong and there was wind. We may have given up our location in Evan. It is quite pungent. This does not bode well. We are gathering the rest of the militia. They may try to capture us and sell it to the Nevenese. Hmm, we did have the reports from our brothers to the east. This is troubling. Chief, we're gonna get you out of here. There's still time for you to escape and I'm not going anywhere. I will see this through to the bitter end. I will not let my people be sold into servitude. Chief. Alright, we'll do what we can. Oh, it's bad. The mercenaries are here. We've engaged them. They're causing panic. The villagers are rushing for safety. Help us. Oh, bother. This is not good. Quickly, to battle. Rage just said quick. You got it, Chief. Foolish cave dwellers. They are lost. They emerge from their hideous caverns for fresh air and prepare that detestable, smelly, atrocious curry dish. The scent has probably reached Mahala by now. Pure stupidity. We could fulfill our contract now, but enough of my musings. Round up whoever you can. The more alive we can take, the more coin you'll all earn. Yes, Father Rodman. <laughs> Father Rodman. I stopped walking in the light long ago. A life with no gold is barely a life at all. The world is too cruel for any god to save us. Good riddance. I'm in a better place now. I'll let them get ahead and start. I will join the fray soon. Boy, this one's running long again. Did I make a mistake? I don't know. And then he went off following the scent. He suspects there is a village over there. I see. This is quite fortuitous. Will, the, ah, will your people, the Osterk, allow us to stay here? I understand that they are not fond of Nevenese. It is unlikely. It is surprising that the Osterk have an above-ground settlement. Perhaps this part of the continent is hidden and kept out of sight. 
Regardless, I doubt they'd extend kindness to you Nevanese. But if I am among you, then there may still be a way. It is a shame we still live in such a world. Where the day is not governed by kindness and warm embraces, but ruled by sorrow, hatred, and fear. Laos, I vow to bring our peoples closer together. Truly, I do. You're not the first noble to say that to us. Talk is easy, Lord Titus. I see. Excuse me if I'm out of line, but regardless, I'll see what I can do for us. Laos, Lord Titus, the village, it's bad. Onderdonk, is it? Tell me, my good man, what did you see? Surely from the skies you had a strong vantage point. There is a fight. The village militia is about to engage an enemy force. I do not know who they are, but they could be Imperial. Imperial soldiers attacking here? Would Emperor Festin be so cruel to do such a thing? When I joined you, I had been taken prisoner by Kruller. He was a mercenary hired by nobles to kidnap us. Their plan was to sell us as prisoners to Lord Graydon, but we ousted him. The prisoners were set free and sent home. At least what you know of. Many of the people from my group have not returned. They were likely sent elsewhere. There is no more time. We must act now. Yes, we must assess the situation and strike. Sortie the men. We ride to aid the Osterk. Quickly, we must keep running. We cannot afford to waste any time. If we're captured... Oh, Papa, I'm so, so frightened. Wah! Quit crying. We gotta get far away from here. There isn't much time. Soldiers are coming for us. Hide, my children. Please hide. Papa, we can't leave you. Papa? My children. Why? Why am I so scared to move now? My legs feel like stone. Jeez, I'm not even going to look at the units and all that, because this has already run long enough, so I'll figure all that out next time. But anyway... Oh wait, I... I know this is the very end of the video, but I forgot to say, I earlier said, like, Erasmus is that needed to recruit anyone else. That's not true. Uh, I didn't want to spoil myself, but apparently you have to, like, attack someone with Erasmus later on to recruit them, I guess. Something like that. So, he is needed later, but not yet. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!